जनरल मैटर की डिक्टेशन डिक्टेशन नंबर फोर स्टार्ट करते हैं स्टार्ट जस्टिस डिलेड इज जस्टिस डिनाइड मीन्स दैट वेन द जस्टिस इज नॉट टाइमली डिलीवर्ड इट इज यूजलेस मार्टिन लूथर किंग जूनियर इन हिज लेटर फ्रॉम ब्रिमिंगम जेल यूज द फ्रेज इन अनदर फॉर्म जस्टिस टू लॉन्ग डिलेड इज जस्टिस डिनाइड इट विल बी एप्ट टू यूज दिस प्रोवर्ब इन द कॉन्टेक्ट ऑफ इंडियन लीगल सिस्टम एज इट टेक्स इयर्स फॉर द जुडिशल सिस्टम टू इम्पार्ट जस्टिस to the petitioners ironically the life cycle of justice in india is unpredictable and highly delayed often the justice is delivered to an individual after a long time when it has become redundant or useless for him in some sense it violates the basic essence of freedom in our democracy many times people are declared innocent after spending many years in imprisonment the delayed justice has led to a rise in the number of cases to be disposed of by the court during the time an accused petitioner is seeking justice and it is delivered to him it turns out to be a nightmare for the petitioner and his family irrespective of the fact that the petitioner is under the jurisdiction of the court in regards to the crime he is labeled as a criminal by the society people get judgmental and develop perceptions towards the petitioner in the cases where the petitioner is actually innocent such kind of labeling by the society comes with an additional mental trauma this horrifying experience is not restricted to the individual but extends to the family as well the family members are subjected to different kinds of mental atrocities friends and society decide to cut off all the ties with that person the petitioner has to run from pillar to post to speed the process a person may have to let go from his job as a result of accusations in such cases it becomes difficult for him to manage his expenses all this while the pending judgments lead to an additional financial burden in the form of fees of the lawyers which is soaring and getting out of reach of the common man to get justice in worst cases people compromise with the judgments as they cannot afford a lawyer thus delayed justice has been a blessing in disguise for many like the corrupt politicians and businessmen who continue to enjoy their position despite a number of charges being labeled against upon them 
in fact they use the power of their position to promote unscrupulous and illegal activities they are the roadblocks to prosperity and development of our society securing social economic and political justice to all citizens is one of the key mandates of the indian constitution the article 39a of the constitution directs the state to secure equal justice and free legal aid for the citizens but from our experience we find that the state has failed squarely on addressing some very basic issues such as quick and inexpensive justice and protecting the poor and vulnerable the disposal of the cases takes so much time that sometimes even an entire generation is too short to get any type of redressal take the famous case of upahar cinema fire which killed 59 people due to suffocation and injured 103 in the resulting stampede in june 1997 The final verdict on this case came on 19th August 2015 that is 18 years later when the Supreme Court imposed a fine on Ansal brothers the owners of the Upahar cinema for 30 crores each and held that their jail terms will be reduced to the term already undergone by them considering their old age this decision has been criticized by the victims families the cbi and the victims association has opposed the relief to the ansals and have filed a review petition stop